Dairy from Mount Sun. In today's video, we're gonna make the most delicious and most wanted recipe requested. It's the chicken biryani. Okay, we are making the most delicious chicken biryani, and this is the Goan style of biryani. And for it, I have taken about one kg of chicken, which I have washed nicely and kept aside. And for the marination of the masala, I am using half a bunch of green coriander, about 15 green chilies. Now it depends on how much spiciness you require. A piece of ginger, this is 3 inch piece of ginger, one full pot of garlic and half a small bunch of pudina leaves. And I have taken in the dry spices, a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of cloves, about four sticks of cinnamon and four elaichi and I will also be using a cup of curd first we are going to grind the wet ingredient that is the green chilies the green chilies the ginger the garlic and the green coriander and the pudina without water we are going to grind it to a smooth paste so as you can see the paste is nicely done and now let's move on to the next step. Now we are going to pound the dry ingredient that is the pepper, the cloves, the cinnamon to a powder. Now you can see it is just nicely pound, not very fine. It could be rough because we only want it for the fragrance. Now let's start with the marination of the chicken. First I am going to add in a tablespoon of salt, depends according to taste. I'm going to take two tablespoons of the green masala which I've just ground, a teaspoon of or half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, the powder which we have just pounded, a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, and a tablespoon of some biryani masala, whatever brand you have with you. And now add in about three tablespoons of curd and mix this well use your hands to mix it okay now you can see keep this now for about 30 minutes and then we cook it as the chicken is getting marinated I have taken here about 750 grams of basmati rice which I am soaked in water for about 20 minutes. Now I have taken a very broad pan in which I am going to cook the rice and then we will start with the preparation of the chicken. Now for cooking the chicken I have taken here 4 fat onions and 2 tomatoes which we are going to chop fine. Like this. Now let's keep this aside. Now we have taken another 4 onions and I am going to slice them very fine. This is for the brishta. Now brishta is fried onions which is put over the biryani. So cut it as fine like this. That's how you do it. As our rice is simmering, let us go and start with the brishta. Put up a kadai here. Now I am going to add in about 3 tablespoons of oil. And we are going to fry the onions till it is nice and crisp brown. Let's fry this in batches till it becomes nice and crisp brown color. Now cook the rice till 3 4 done. You can see this is perfectly done. Now I'm going to strain it. So, if you want to make the brista cooking faster, so add a pinch of salt in it and continue to heat it up. Okay, the rice is cooked. Now add in a tablespoon of pure ghee in this. Give it a nice mix and keep this rice to cool. Take it in separate containers and cool it nicely. I have taken a very big pan here because I am going to make the biryani in this only. So first I am going to make the chicken. I have taken here 1 tablespoon of pure ghee, about 3 tablespoon of oil. We are going to fry in the chopped onions.
mix it well till they are translucent. As you can see, the brista is ready now. So now let's give it to cool. It's nicely done. Now let us add in the green masala which we had ground. Now remember, the masala we had only used two spoons for the marination. The remaining masala we are going to use now to fry. Few moments later. As the masala is getting fried, add in the on tomatoes and fry this till the tomato releases oil. Meaning the masala has to be fried nicely till it is well cooked and it releases oil in the side. So in the meantime, take little of milk, add saffron in the milk and keep like six strands of saffron and keep it aside. Let the saffron infuse in the milk. Now this process of frying the masala is always time taking. But you have to be very careful if you hasten this process or if you make it fast then your biryani will spoil. Therefore you have to be very cool and do it nicely, continuously till it is nicely done. Now, now you can see the masala has already started releasing oil. Now you have to add in the curd. We have one cup of curd with us of which two spoons were used for marination. The remaining curd we used here. And again fry this nicely for another 3 minutes. Few moments later. Now fry this nicely. Again till it is nicely blended together. And now we are going to add in the chicken which is marinated. Add the chicken nicely. And mix it nicely let it get well coated now here you can use a potato if you want make big chunks and add in this now I'm going to add because I like potatoes in this chicken taken one the potato and I've cut them into big chunks which I'm going to add in this and let's give it a good stir let's mix this together on a high flame few moments later now add in the water which is remaining from the masala about about half of two cups of water you can see the water should be just enough to cover up the chicken not more than that and now we will cook this till the chicken and the potatoes are done now i've taken a half a bunch of pudina leaves and chopped them fine i'm just going to slightly roast them for a minute to put over the biryani later. That's how it looks and now let's keep it aside. Okay now let's check on and here you can see the gravy is nicely boiling through. Now let's check the potato first. Okay it is three fourth done. Now let us adjust the taste by adding whatever is required. I'll just check the taste first. We require a little salt, so let us add in salt to taste. Check and use how much you require. And now this is almost ready. So, what we are going to do is we have got a little bit extra liquid over here, the gravy. So, we are going to remove this gravy a little and keep it aside for us to enjoy with the biryani. So, here I am re removing just a little bit of the gravy. That's the gravy which we are going to keep aside, and now let's get back to cooking. Now we do the layering. Now you can see that biryani or the chicken is done, almost 3 4 done, and you can see the gravy is still there a little bit that is required. Now let us start with the layering process. Now let us take the rice which we had kept aside and we are going to put it in this. Layer it nicely. We have made one layer, now we are going to add in the brishta which we have made, little on the rice. And now we are going to add in the second layer of rice. Let us nicely spread it nicely so that the whole thing is properly covered up. Add in one teaspoon of pure ghee over it. 
Add in the milk in which we have added kesar. You can add color also, but I am not using color. I have just used kesar here. The brishta which is there. Nicely layer it. Now you can also add roasted cashew nuts on top, which I have not added. And finally, we are going to add the pudina, which we have also fried slightly. And now we are going to put on the lid and cook this on dum. Now first, when we close the lid, remember to put a tawa below the handi. And cook this way for about 15-20 minutes. Just keep some heavy utensil on top so that your steam does not go out and cook this and then your biryani will be ready to serve a little longer than a few minutes later okay now let's open up and check our biryani and you can see it's already done it has been there for about 20 minutes now let me check and show you the layering you can see here it's beautifully done so let's do the plating now So as you can see the biryani is now ready chicken biryani so delicious and tasty I'm gonna eat this now you make yours now share comment and subscribe follow me on Instagram link in description and make it now thank you